What is a prophet? When we hear the word prophet, we tend to think of something or someone like this. Behold his mighty hand! And technically that is correct. A prophet, in one sense of the term, is someone who speaks for God, who can foretell the future and prepare the coming of Christ. Prophets would be called directly by God, a divine commission, and they would deliver the Lord's message through oracles, sermons, writing, parables, and sometimes even miracles. Let my people go. Man shall be ruled by law, not by the will of other men. When we have to think of a modern prophet, it's easy to think of the big names, like Blessed John Paul II or Blessed Teresa of Calcutta. Or we can think of other prophets, men and women who took a stand for what was right and true, and who preached that message with authority. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We have even seen false prophets in our time. But who is a prophet today? By virtue of your baptism, when God imbues you with his very life and his very grace, he doesn't make you a Peter Parker who by this now you can go do great things. You are Superman. But you have all the power that you need. You have all the virtue that you need. You have everything you need in there. Everything. But a prophet doesn't have to be somebody who's famous or somebody who's popular. A prophet can be somebody who stands up in the face of injustice. A prophet can be somebody who witnesses the gospel of Christ and points people back to God. A prophet can be someone like you. And I just want to share with y'all tonight um, a time in my life that God uh, brought me back to him through the Eucharist and through adoration. You know, I didn't really care about church. I went to mass and everything, but I really didn't, didn't get anything out of it. I didn't care about it. And if you would have told me that what I was doing was separating me from God, I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have listened to you. I saw like, you know, all this the sin and the addiction that was tearing me away from God and just bringing me down. And uh, I realized right then that God cared about me and that He had cared about me even when I hadn't cared about Him. So I decided right then and there to go to reconciliation and get forgiveness, and uh, I did. And since then, I've decided to you know, get rid of that group of friends and those addictions and vices that just held me back from God.